the GTH approach, or rather said the gun to your head approach, I guess a method of being able to get things done quicker, better, and faster than you normally would have, and something I find very, very compelling at times, right? When I ask myself, like, oh, man, I can't figure out how to make more money, man. I can't figure out how to get more members of my school community, man. I can't figure out how to convert people, man. I can't figure out this. What do I do here? What do I do here? And I find myself stuck in this infinite realm of question asking and problems and not enough solutions and too many problems and chaos, right? And one time I was explaining all of these these thoughts, these different uh, concerns and problems and ideas and just, you know, kind of laying my feelings out there to one of my mentors. And he looked at me, he said, Stefan, if you had a gun to your head and you had to get that thing done, and in my case, it was like I wanted to get, I wanted to convert like five people in my school community, right? How would you do it? I was like, well, he's like, he's at like limits off. What would you do? I was like, well, I'd probably start running ads right now. Okay. And I'd probably start getting on sales calls with every single person I could talk to and make sure I didn't leave the call without closing the deal if I thought I could. He said, great. Why don't you do that right now? I'm like, well, because of this and this and this. He said, no, 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 no. You just told me if you had a gun to your head, you could do it. So why aren't you doing it? <laughs> I was like, Damn. And it was a very subtle reminder that sometimes, very often I would argue, we could simply just ask ourselves, if you had a gun to your head, what would you do? Right? Often if we're problem solving or if we're faced with trouble or chaos or decision, if you had a gun to your head, what would you do? Right? Oh, but Stefan, I can't figure out how to, send, how to do 100 cold calls a day. If you had a gun to your head, could you figure it out? Yeah? Okay, then do that thing. Right or man, I don't. It's impossible to to convert, or I can't get more members in. If you had a gun to your head and you would convert hundred members tomorrow, how would you do it? Oh man, I probably try this, 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 and this, and this. Great, go do that. Something Tom Billy talks a little about. It's called the No BS. What would it take approach? Which is when something comes up, a question or an idea or something, they ask each other or they say to each other, No BS. What would it take to get this done? No BS. If I had to make ten grand tomorrow morning. What would I do? Oh, should I probably do this and this and this? I'd probably go talk to that guy and message this guy and make this offer and do this. And all of a sudden, you have a list of, of solutions to your problem that you couldn't yet solve before. Simply by asking yourself, if I had a gun to my head, or if I had a gun to my family's head, or if I had whatever it is, what would I do differently? And more often than not, that's the thing we needed to hear. Because we get so overwhelmed in these solutions because we know we have time on our side. We know, for the most part, that we won't die right yet this moment, and so we delay. And so we wait and try to find the perfect solution, and we get caught up in thinking too much, right? Because when we, when we aren't faced with a critical decision that has to be made within five seconds, we think too much, right? Like if you know you're about to fall off the edge, it's either you jump or you don't, right? It's either you, you move or you don't. You get the gist, right? But when we're not faced with a life or death situation, we tend to think and take time. And time can be the enemy. Thinking can be the enemy, right? You yourself can be the enemy. And this can be detrimental. And so sometimes you just got to ask yourself, man, if I had a gun to my head and I had five seconds, right? Or whatever the case is, what would I do? What would I do differently? No bullshit. What would it take? And the answer to that might just be what you needed to get to where you wanted to go.